Hello, it's been a while since I posted. For this video, I'll be doing an unboxing of my new phone, which is the Samsung Galaxy S23 FE in the color purple. I'll be talking about why I got this phone, the story behind it, and grow through setting up my new phone by downloading apps and personalizing my phone. Well, I've been absent on social media and here on YouTube for a few months because I got my phone stolen. Yep, stolen. I'll explain the whole story later on when I'm setting up my phone. As you can see on the side, it has an aluminum finish. The back features a triple camera setup and the video can shoot up to 4K. One criteria for this phone is that the video quality had to be decent enough to film with, and this takes off the boxes. It has motion stabilization in the front and back facing cameras, which is an upgrade from my last phone, which only had it on the main camera. The selfie camera can shoot up to 180p, which is a great added bonus. Here I'm unboxing the accessories that come with the phone. What comes in the box is a charging cable, no charging brick, and a metal pick thing to put your SD card with. The store worker put in my SD card already inside. In the box contains the manual, which I will probably not read. Something knows that the phone doesn't lie flat. A case can be used to solve that issue. It's now time to turn on the phone. For the story behind my phone getting stolen, I got my phone pickpocketed for me. It really sucks because I really liked my old phone, which was a Samsung Galaxy S20 FE. It was working for me, I didn't need a new phone, I didn't want a new phone. During the time I didn't have my phone, I had no access to my YouTube channel, so I couldn't upload or create content here. I used my phone to film my videos, so I couldn't film anything either. So that's why I've been radio silent on this channel. I had to research and look for a new phone at a reasonable price for me to purchase. And honestly, I was really, really, really upset and sad about it for quite a while. I was so shocked, upset, scared, sad, because I lost not only my phone, but some photos and videos that I didn't back up. I can get a new phone, which isn't cheap at all, but I also couldn't get any of those memories back in footage. I had to get a new phone and start from scratch. Even though some people might dismiss the emotions of being pickpocketed, it honestly felt violating that someone stole from me, which left me really upset about the whole situation and even upset at myself. Well, I feel better now. I've been through all five stages of grief and back again. Though I still wish the pickpocketer who did this the worst and eternal misery. The screen displays all the widgets that come factory installed. Along with the camera, I bought a drop-proof case to go with it. Because I'm very clumsy and I drop everything. And I really mean it. My last phone had a drop-proof case and it saved my phone several times over. That one was from Casemate. This one's from Spigen, which I bought alongside the phone. This was the only clear case they had available. Not sure about the drop rating of this phone case, but by the time I've recorded this voiceover, I already dropped this phone twice and has survived, so the drop protection works. I bought the clear case because I want to see the phone color. The phone case comes with a mini kickstand that can prop up your phone vertically or horizontally. Here I'm wiping my fingerprints before putting the case on. It's a bit hard to get the phone into the case. It's a snug fit, but I got it in. I got my phone on Black Friday, so I got a discount on it. I waited for that time to roll around to get a new phone. The kickstand seems to be made of metal and feels very sturdy. The phone feels quite heavy since the back is made out of glass. My last phone had a plastic backing. I had to get used to the feeling of holding such a heavy phone. Since I'm starting from the bottom, I need to download all the apps I use. Here I'm downloading Instagram, which is the other social media app that I use. You can follow me there if you want to. Link in the description. Again, no pressure. Here I'm downloading Animal Crossing Pocket Camp because I don't want to buy the game, mostly because I know that I'll be even more obsessed with it than I already am, which is honestly dangerous. The next app I'll be downloading is Snapseed. I use this to edit my Instagram photos. Here I'm downloading the app Garni, which is what I use to organize my Instagram feed. I write my captions and tags in here. Here I'm getting Libby, which is what I mentioned before in another video. Libby connects to your local library where you can borrow digital ebooks and audiobooks. I use Foodie to edit my Instagram photos and my YouTube thumbnails. You can save your filter settings so that your photos are consistent with your feed. Here I'm downloading the app Vila, which is a video editor that I use to make Instagram reels. I really like the filters and fonts they have. Here I'm downloading a new wallpaper for my lock screen and my main screen. I got my last wallpaper from this Instagram artist. Their wallpapers are so cute. At the time recording this, I changed the wallpaper to be more winter themed, which you will see later on. Along with the phone and case, I got a free charging port that doubles as a Bluetooth speaker. It can apparently charge my phone wirelessly, which is awesome. I think the added feature of being a Bluetooth speaker is great. I'm surprised by the weight. It's pretty hefty and it seems to be solid build quality. 
Bluetooth speakers also come with a charging brick and cable. I'm connecting it with my phone to see if it charges, and it does. Fast charging too, which is great. After listening to the speakers, I find that the sound quality is pretty decent. Not bad at all, but not super great. It's missing a little bit of weighty bass sound and crisp vocals. Overall, really impressed though. Here's the new winter lock screen and main wallpaper, all made by the same artist as mentioned previously. Just to note, this phone case attracts fingerprints. That's all for this unboxing video for my new phone, case, and Bluetooth speakers. I hope you enjoyed the video and my little backstory. If you like this video, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing for more content. Thanks for watching!